Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Pokemon Sword and Shield Ranked Battle video. Today, we are starting off season, what's the season? Is this? Season 4 now, I believe, of Sword and Shield Ranked Battles. Guys, we are going to freaking do way better this season. Last season, literally, I only played when I was on recording. Not doing that this season. This season, we are playing, and we are going to destroy. We're going to do way better this season, and I'm ready. Are you ready? So, let's see what we're going to lead with here. Let's lead with uh, Grimstone for that young Thunder Wave cheese. And then I want to have Gastrodon in the back because there's two water types on this squadron. Let's do maybe Dragapult in the front. I, actually, I kind of just want Gastrodon in the front. Because they have two water types. I can have Storm Drain and then they have Cinderace, which I'm a water type and a ground type again. So we'll do that. And then we'll have Dragapult in the back and then Rotom. Bada bing, bada boom. To be the squadron for today guys i'm trying a different uh a light source here so i used to have two lights but i was starting to get headaches and i don't know what it's from and i started to think that it's from my second light was like facing directly into my eyes and i'm always looking at this screen when um i'm like recording like call of duty like when i'm playing call of duty but in between every game so i'm looking at this screen and the i think the light was getting directly into my eyes and it was giving me headaches i'm not sure if that's what it is or not so i took out that light source and I moved this main light source to be directly in front of me instead of off to the side. So let's see how that goes. So I cannot Thunder Wave. Uh, what's his name? Incineroar here. But I can Thunder Wave the Dragapult. And then I can just Scald the Incineroar. Can't Thunder Wave the Incineroar though because he is a Dark type. And uh, Prankster does not work on Dark type Pokemon. Which is weird, but it makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. So we do get the Thunder Wave off, which is really nice, especially on that Dragapult. He's a big, scary boy. Now, is this, is this Incineroar gonna do Fake Out or whatever the heck? Ooh, Draco Meteors. Okay, that's probably a good move for him because Gastrodon's special defense is not that high. His regular defense is very high. Okay, and he's gonna go for a Flamethrower into the Gastrodon? Okay, I don't know if they're gonna double up into that Gastrodon slot. So I definitely, hmm, I definitely want my Gastrodon to live here. Oh, the sound just went out for me. Did it go out for you? I don't think it did. Okay. I definitely want to, I want to do light screen here and then recover with Gastrodon. So the only way they'll knock out Gastrodon this turn is if they double up into his slot. Uh, I just really want Gastrodon to live because he, he just went for a full on Draco Meteor into that Gastrodon slot. Ooh, Dragapult got full paired, which I don't even know why he's still attacking him. And his special attack dropped, unless he has a mixture of physical and special attacks. That would make sense, but right now we're looking good as long as we don't get burned here. We did not. And we have the recover off. I mean, this is a good good first two turns for us right now. So now, what we can do here... And that guy had no... He had no care in the world about his Incineroar going down this turn. So I'll go ahead and reflect this turn in case this Dragapult can do both special and physical attacks, which would be... Weird, but possible. And then we'll scald into that center or take it out. So since since it's a new season, all the you know my rank was is lower now. It was never high the last season anyway, but I could just be potentially playing against easier opponents because of that. He goes for a dragon rush. I literally don't even know what that move is, but it sounds like it's a physical attack. And good thing I got the reflex set up. He's gonna flamethrower into the Grim Snarl slot again. Just don't burn me, is all I ask. Gastrodon flinch all that to move that makes me flinch, you dirty dog. So now we're just going to play rough into the Dragapult slot. And then Scald into the Incineroar slot. Easy peasy. Get this Incineroar out of the way, and then whatever the next Mon is, we can paralyze it and then recover with Gastrodon again if he takes too much damage. Dragapult got paralyzed, which is very nice. Wait, why was... Dragapult is still going first even when paralyzed? Or maybe... Oh, is Dragon Rush like a priority move maybe? That, that would make sense. I, didn't, I don't even know what Dragon Rush is. And oh my goodness. Player Ruff almost knocks out this Dragapult. I feel like he did put all of his eggs in the special attack and physical attack. If um, my Grimmsnarl did that much damage to that Dragapult. So definitely a weird set Dragapult. But that's fine by me. That is fine by me for show. Sure. Tower Masters. That could be freaking... Oh. That's not who I thought it was. All right, so what we're going to do this turn, then, is... I kind of, like, do I just finish the Dragapult, or do I just kind of ignore it and just... I feel like I just want to Thunder Wave, Primarina, whatever her name is. Dragapult's not really even doing much, and that can recover here. 
because I have Reflect up, I have Light Screen up, Dragapult's special attack is lower, and then if I can Thunder Wave Primarina here, which actually would be super effective on my Grim Snarl. Yeah, he goes for another Draco Meteor. That's going to do literally nothing. I mean, I have Light Screen up, and his special attack is already lower. Oh, he got a freaking crit, dude. <gasps> that crit mattered, dude. Wow. Okay, well, you lucked out, is all I'm going to say. What's for the Blizzard? I'm going to say that he lucked out for sure. Don't freeze me, you dirty dog. Oh, you have a life orb. Okay. So we definitely don't want to go into our Dragapult because of Fairy, but also our Rotom is a fire type. Yikes. So here's what we're going to do here. Here's what we're going to do here. I wonder what item this Dragapult is holding because I just want to trick something, I feel like, but I'm not going to. Let's, let's play rough you and then trick. See, she has a life orb. I guess if I trick for the life orb, though, then it's making her moves not do as much. And it'll make make sure I'm not stuck into this. So we'll do that. We'll trick. We'll trick here. We'll take the life orb away so her moves aren't as powerful. There we go. And I got the life orb. All right, perfect. Dragapult gets full paired again, which is beautiful. That's why I love bringing Grimstar to the team. He's a, just a dirty boy. That Thunder Wave is just, it's just too good of a move. This is not fair, actually. And then she's going to go for Water Pledge, which is going to make... I'm living. I bet if she had Life Orb, that would have knocked me out, maybe. I don't know how much Life Orb actually does help, but feels good, mate. Oh, you know, I just realized I, I kind of may have made a mistake there. Because now she has the Choice Scarf. Is she going to outspeed me now? I don't know, like, what her speed stat is. The Galar Champion Melodic. Man, I really wish I would still have my Gastrodon right now. Is all I know. So, let's... Thunder Wave Milotic here, and then Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, you. Because I want to save my Dynamax or Dragapult. So I need to get rid of this fairy type. I need to get rid of this fairy looking feller. Thunder Wave, please don't miss. Oh my goodness, connects again, dude. All my Thunder Waves have connected. That is amazing. Thunderbolt still goes first. Perfect. So let's use this a slow mon. And knocked out. There we go. So now we are in a 3v1 scenario against this poor Milotic. And this guy doesn't even. He didn't. Did not even Dynamax, even though it's his last mon. Which is weird because he could have maxed Geysered by Rotom. Still would have knocked me out, but he would have set up Rain for the next turn. Whatever, dude. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know at all what is happening anymore. Dragapult out of the field. What up, Dragapult, my dirty dude? I guess we'll just go for some play roughs on you, and then we're just going to Dynamax just to be like, hey, man, did you know you could have Dynamaxed? And he'd be like, oh, crap, I forgot I could have Dynamaxed. So let's just go ahead and do that. This guy's like, why are you Dynamaxing on me? I have to Dynamax on you to establish my alphaness, my alpha trails. Big Dragapult coming into the field. He's going to roar. <laughs> All right. Dragapult, finish him. Oh, he does go for the Dynamax now. Weird. Weird that he waited. But whatever. He'll probably live this now because of that. Because he did Dynamax. Well, who knows? Maybe not? Maybe if I do... I mean, because I have Max, Max Grass. What is it? Overgrowth? And then I also have a Play Rough going into him. And he's paralyzed. He could just get full parried here. So let's see what happens. Max Overgrowth is going to do some some frisky damage. Not frisky enough damage. Okay. Okay. Not frisky enough, but we'll take it. Get our Grimstar a little bit more health on the field. Now we got to play rough. There we go. He's going to go for the Max Wormworm. Oh, dang. You dirty dog. I'll say, if that does more damage to me than what I did to you, I would be so mad. I would be devastated and mad. Grimmsnarl's attack fell. Well, it doesn't affect Dragapult, but it does affect the Grimmsnarl. So this turn right here should be the knockout punch for the Milotic. And I have a good feeling that he's going to get full parried here, which is just going to be the nail in the coffin, which would be lit. My sound went out again in my freaking headphones. These headphones are annoying. 
They are annoying as crap. Hopefully that's not going on for you guys. Is that going on for you guys? You guys still hear everything? Hopefully. There's only one, one way to find out. And that's just to upload it. Right? No, I'm kidding. I can see it in I can see it in the edits. In the editing room. In the dark room. This guy has taken a long time to realize that he is just going to lose here. Sir, you are just going to lose your Milotic. And it will be the end of the game, and I will progress up in the ranks, and you will digress down in the ranks. Weird. We're still here. Okay. Can I hold this match over to just finish his- Actually, I hope it doesn't finish him, so then the Paralyze. I wanted him to get full paired, and then the Grim Snarl hit him with a player rough. <laughs> That's kind of what I really wanted to happen. But there we go, guys. We got the first victory of season four. We are gonna we're gonna get a higher rank this season. We gotta get better at Pokemon because now, if you guys haven't seen my previous stream or video, I am a gym challenger for the electric gym uh, with a bunch of other YouTubers, and it's a lot of fun. But I have to get better at this game if I want to freaking win more, okay? Because I've been losing. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.